Here is a live look at where we would be today. Don't do that to us. If the world was a little bit different. Don't do that to us. I would have been able to take my son to school today. <laughs> There's already a couple news trucks there. Oh, just don't do that. <laughs> Sad. Looks nice. This, it, look, it, it, it looks nice. Um, this postseason different for just that. Just, just so many reasons. That's not the only one. But one really interesting trend we've seen is that road teams have won 51% of their games here in the bubble <laughs> compared to 44% in a regular postseason. So, Scotty, do you think the road to winning a title for the Lakers or the Heat is easier or harder than in previous years? Well, I mean, I, I got to say it's a little bit easier. I mean, when you look at the fact that they are – on one ground they're not having to get out and do any traveling so they have access to these players 24 7 they could call a practice at 3 in the morning they could call a team meeting so I definitely see that it's a little bit easier but not only that when you look inside of these arenas that these players are accustomed to playing in the great shooters are the one that stand out the ones that can shoot shots and not be affected by the depth perception inside of an arena and I see inside of that bubble that I see walls. I see things that are not distracting these, these players. I see players that are not known to be great shooters throughout their careers are now stepping up and making shots. So I do believe mm. that it's an easier task playing inside of the bubble because I think they're playing inside of a shooter's gym. Uh, I, I go, I'm going to go to the other side. I think it's tougher for the simple fact. All of the things that Pip, you said, I agree with a thousand percent. Uh, a little easy. You don't have to worry about going to play like in Utah, in Boston, <laughs> in some of these rowdy places, you know. But uh, you, you look at today's game, the mental side of, the, uh, of it is, is tough. And who can, you know, my question was, what team can come together the quickest in the beginning and, 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 and get it going? And, and I felt like because of all of the I mean, there's no distractions, but after a while, you get tired of looking at the same four walls. You get tired of going to the same place, seeing the same people, the pe person you play against all of the time. All of these things, uh, you know, it, it's just... And then, for me, I think I would have struggled in the bubble, particularly early, uh, early mm. on, you know, wanting to see your family. Just think, after a two-week uh, two road, road trip, guess what? We get to go home. Well, three months for these guys, they have to continue to play and figure out how to stay focused. And you, you're asking young guys Aww. to stay focused and do, do what you need them to do. So uh, I think as far as that's concerned, that is the challenge for these guys, particularly older guys. Like for us, so imagine you guys mm -hmm. being in a bubble with your kids. Like younger guys, they don't have to worry about that. I, I, you know, I, I would miss my kids after a while. Like I want to see my kids. And, you know, luckily for me, I have golf. I, Pip, I know you golf as well. So we can go golf and get away from it a little bit and kind of refocus because you, you, you get to, to see the scenery and, and get away from the game. But all of these guys can't do that. And you're asking them to kind of focus in. So that's why I said it's a little tougher. Yeah, I, I like everyone has brought up great points. I think the mental aspect of this has been far difficult because the more you play, the more you're away from your family, the more you're kind of eating the same food. And the NBA uh, has done a great job of trying to accommodate and making this as comfortable of a situation. That's something that I applaud. But if we're t purely talking about basketball, just to see that 51% of the road teams have won, that is something that we would never, ever, never ever see, see in an actual Correct. basketball normal series. So by that definition, it is a lot easier easier to be the underdog because you work for 82 games to get home court. So you have game seven. So you know the percentage of winning game fives when the series tied 2-2 is like you win 70%. All of that has been thrown out of the window. And so I think it's been a lot easier for teams physically and from a game standpoint, like Scotty talks about good shooters and the backgrounds. It's been easier to do that here from a mental, emotional standpoint, but more difficult. But from a physical game standpoint, yeah. there is no home court. 51% basically means that every game's a toss up. Doesn't matter if you're home away because it is a neutral site. Look, it's just, to me, it's not about better or easier or any of that. It's about different muscles, right? So Michael Phelps is an elite, elite swimmer, greatest ever. 
Michael Jordan, elite, elite basketball player. If you put MJ in the water and you put Michael Phelps on a basketball court, you're not getting those elite results. Well, this bubble yeah. tests you in a different way. You will be a different kind of champion mm -hmm. than you would have outside of the bubble, right? Absolutely. So I agree Absolutely. with Richard about the mental aspect just from being down here and what these guys have to see and go through every day. I think it tests those muscles more, and that is why we have seen the two teams that have ended up here are teams that had great chemistry all season because it tests that and toughness. And, and I just think that it is a different kind of championship that tests different things, not better or worse. We're going to remember 2020 for so many reasons this year. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.